Peter, I hate the unit circle. I want to set it on fire or blow it up. It doesn't make sense to me. Whoa, Stewie, let's not commit mathematical arson. The unit circle is actually pretty simple once you break it down. Just give me a second to explain before you start setting equations on fire. Fine, but this better be good. The unit circle is a circle centered at the origin, zero, with a radius of one. It helps us define sine, cosine, and tangent for any angle. Every point on the circle represents an angle, and the coordinates of that point are cosine for the x and sine for the y. Instead of memorizing everything, just just remember the key angles in the first quadrant. These values repeat in all four quadrants, but some become negative depending on direction. To quickly recall radian values, use the ASAP method. A means all angles start with pi, since we're working with a circle. S means subtraction. Subtract one from the denominator for second quadrant angles. A means addition, because you add one to the denominator for third quadrant angles. P means prime, because the fourth quadrant numerators use 5, 7, and 11, which are all prime numbers. So the unix circle actually follows a simple pattern Exactly. Once you see the structure, you'll never need to struggle with trig angles again. And don't forget to follow STEM Tutor Peter for more.